You know, to be able to use Active Directory users and computers, you need to promote your Windows Server to a domain controller. At this moment, you can see this is actually a Windows Server, just a standard Windows Server that I installed. At this moment, there's no there's no rows of features installed on this device. So if I go to from my Server Manager, if I go to Tools, you can see we have some tools on this device. But these same tools can actually be found on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 device. To be able to use the Active Directory users and computers, group policy, DNS, we should be able to add the roles and future so we can be able to actually configure and promote our Windows Server to become our first primary domain controller. So to actually add the roles and future, just click here under your dashboard on a server manager, click add roles and future. So here we can see it says before you begin, we can we can actually skip this by default or click next here we're going to actually install the role role based or future based inst installation we can actually install the role service for virtual desktop infrastructure but for this training we're going to select the first option so click next and here you can see on our server pool if you are working for a big company in an enterprise definitely you have different server pool different ip address here but at this moment this is actually a, a, lab, um, a lab and a test environment, so we're just going to select the IP address given to us on this device. And you can see I'm using a Windows Server 2022 data center, and this is actually a, an evalu evaluation copy from Microsoft. So click Next. So here it says, what's, what are the roles we want to actually install? You can see we have different roles we can install on this domain, on this server. So the role we want to install is the following, the Active Directory Domain Service. You can see by selecting the Active Directory Domain Service, other features that are required for Active Directory Domain Service will actually be added to it. So just click Add Features. And by clicking Add Feature, you can see some other features that have been selected. For example, we have the file and storage has just been selected. So let me just click Next. And you can see if I click Next, you can see Group Policy Management will be installed. Microsoft Defender Antivirus also is also installed. The remote server administrative tools will also be installed on this device. We can actually just open and see what other options we have. And also you can see the system data archive also will be installed and we have some other uh, options this are, this are already installed. So let's just click next. And it says Active Directory Domain Service stores information about users, computers and other devices on the network so click next and now we are ready to install so we can actually export the configuration settings to use on a powershell but let me just click install to get a uh, domain the service installed on the device then after installing the service then the domain service then we can promote the server to become a domain controller so let's just wait for some seconds or minutes for this to get installed so now we can see that the installation succeeded on DC01. So what we need to do right now, it says promote this server to a domain controller. You can see here we have a yellow exclamation mark. If I click on that, you can see it says promote this server to a domain controller. So what we need to do is just to click on promote this server to a domain controller. I think I've already clicked on that. And here we go. You can see we have the different option. It says add a domain controller to an existing domain. Of course, we don't want to add a domain controller to an existing domain. Add a new domain to an existing forest, but add a new forest. So here we're going to add a new forest. So I'm, you, you're going to actually give the root domain a name. So I'm going to actually just give the following Kelv Global ICT. So I'm going to use the following dot com and then click next. So it's going to actually try to check if that domain name or the, the root name you just entered is already in use. So what we need to do here, you can see the first functional, le functional level can be actually raised to 2000 from Windows 2000, Server 2008. But I'm going to leave it at Windows Server 2016 because at this moment, there are very few companies which are using Windows Server 2012. Most uh, companies are using 2016, 2019 or 2022. And here you can see that it says specify domain controller capabilities. We can uncheck the domain name service system as a DNS server, but I'm going to actually just leave that for the moment. You can see we have extra 
options and here we're going to enter a, a, a system restore motion in case something goes wrong with the server you're going to use this password to actually recover your domain server so let me just enter a password and mind you your password should match and then we're going to click next and here you see we receive a yellow exclamation mark this is actually a you can actually just click show more to see it says a delegation for this dns server cannot be created because your authoritative parent zone cannot be found of course it cannot be found because it's our primary domain controller so let's just click next so it's going to verify the net bios name assigned to the domain and change it if necessary so it's going to actually verify and see if this domain the domain name is already the net bios name is already in use and here we go you can see that it's going to be kelv global ict and please make sure you check the name if it is correct or if you, there is a mistake in the name you can always go to previous and change the name to the right name so let's just click next And here you can see specify the location of of the ad active directory domain service database log file and sys file so here we can actually change the database folder to a different location but i'm going to leave this now for this training just to be the standard location so let me just click next and now we can actually review our configuration our selection and then let me just scroll down to see if everything is well configured and then we can what we can see is this setting can be exported to a window PowerShell script or to make additional installation but i'm not going to do that for now i'm just going to click next and mind you if you receive any error message during this process you will not be able to continue the installation you will need to actually go back and actually check where the error is for you to be able to go ahead during this installation so here you can see it says the prerequisites check completed all prerequisite checks passed successfully so we can now click install and begin the installation process of promoting this windows server to a domain controller so let me come back again when the installation has complete and we need to restart our device and then we can log on to this device for the first time as a domain with, with a domain as a domain server so now our device has been promoted to a domain controller and let's try to log on to our device by just hitting hitting control alt delete on our keyboard and here you can see it's actually taking me to log on to kelv global ict and i'm going to log on to this device as an administrator so enter your password and then just hit enter and it's going to create you can see this says please wait for the user's policy service so a new account actually is going to prepare windows for the first time and a new account will be created for this account which of course is going to be the different account and the local account on your device so what we're going to do is we're going to log on to this device and then we can now create an official name which we'll be using to actually access this windows server instead of logging onto this windows server as a local administrator so here we go we just logged on to the our windows domain control controller and if i go to tools you can see we have now a lot of tools that are, that have just been added to this device like for example we have the active directory administrative center we have our active directory domains and trust we also have the active directory users and computers and also if i you can see we have our dns and then we can also look down here we have our group policy management so if i click active directory users and computers so let's just click on that and see just to have some general overview of what we have there so by clicking active directory users and computers let me maximize that you can see we have our domain name as a kelv global ict Dot com and here we have our computers you can see at this moment we don't have any computers here in our computers uh, uh, folder and if i go to this organization unit unit called domain controller you can see at this moment we have just one dc that's a domain controller that's this device itself and if i go to users you can see we have some standard users so i'm going to create a different video on how to create users and manage our active directory users and computers so next we're going to actually join our windows 10 and windows 11 device to our domain server so i'm going to show you how to actually join your windows 10 and windows 11 to a domain server